Now to our continuing coverage of the death of a state trooper from our area. The body of 29 year old Jacques Roger Jr. is now back home in Cory, arriving at the Cory Airport this afternoon, just about an hour ago. Yeah, Roger was killed in the line of duty on Saturday in central Pennsylvania, and we have team coverage of his journey back home. Our Lisa Adams is standing by live now at the airport this afternoon with more for us. Lisa. Good afternoon, Kara and Amanda. It was really a hero's welcome here at Cory Airport, as you said, just about an hour ago. Quiet here now, but the entire tarmac here was covered with police cars, a line of state police cars, a line of state police officers saluting. They were joined by police from Erie, Mill Creek, Cory City, all around the region, also wanting to pay their respects to this hero. And as you said, his name is Jacques Rouget. He goes by Jay. The family on his side says Rougeau, how they pronounce the last name, but he is a young man Corey is very proud of. He was a student here in high school. He was an athlete here, 29 years old. He always wanted to be a state police trooper, and he got caught up over the weekend in an assault on state police that was described as a game of cat and mouse. One other officer, a commanding officer, shot critically injured, and then again, the trooper participating with a whole other group of troopers trying to track down and stop this man armed with a long high powered rifle who was shooting at their vehicles and shooting randomly throughout the community. Well, his vehicle, his state police car shot through the windshield and he was killed again in the line of duty. Earlier today, I talked with the state police commander of our troop here, Troop E, Kirk Reese, who had to be part of the a group of officers here who supported the family, informed them of what happened at the Lewistown Barracks. And here's what he had to say about being part of the group of other officers to welcome the trooper home. Uh, it's a great honor to show honor, not only to our fallen brother, but to his family uh, and all his friends in the Cory area, because I know this is a big impact to the Cory area here. Every trooper, every member of our department, and every law enforcement agency is affected by what happened there. Law enforcement is uh, a dangerous profession. We all accept that. But it hits us hard when incidents like this happen to one of our own. The trooper's mother, Angela Gervasio, was flown in here by helicopter shortly before the aircraft carrying his body arrived. A whole cadre of people from the American Legion post in Wesleyville, where she works, she's a veteran, um, they arrived here with flags to hug and support her as well. And if you thought there were a lot of uh, state police and other vehicles and officers here, wait until the funeral happens. We're hearing as many as 2,000 officers from across the state will be here. The, the details of the funeral not yet finalized. But